scrub a dead dead. Oh, man. I guess I fell asleep with this thing on my head. Oops. Ah, we'll catch you guys in a bit. If you guys ever never experience a dual shower head shower, you should. You barely have to turn around while you're scrubbing you know arse. It's amazing. Alright, so we have a extremely busy day. I'm really worried that the ground is a little wet. But we really need to get in and start getting some stuff planted. Uh, Zach uh, wants us to help out today. He's full-fledged into planting. It's a little bit wet. He doesn't know if it could go today, but I told him, I was like, I don't even have my planter yet. I haven't even unloaded the trailer here. I mean, we still have these two tractors on here. I need to get them unloaded. I, I need to get to town because uh, I need the co-op to spray my ground so I can hopefully disc it in. And I have an extremely loud owl around here. And let me tell you, that guy woke me up. Man, I never thought owls can sound almost like chimpanzees in uh, the woods. Man, I thought for sure there was a monkey in the woods in the middle of Minnesota. I know, I know it's a little bit crazy. It is crazy. The thing is still going off. Just go get your mouse and scurry along there, owl. This sure doesn't seem like much of a slope until you get on back of the tractor and you start reeling it down let me tell you it feels so much more when you're on the seat of the tractor maybe you just get used to it after a while but not me I guess all right trailers unhooked and we are ready to roll man do I love my AT4 actually before we go too far maybe I should see just how muddy these fields are. I'm hoping they're not too bad, but I mean, if this thing gets stuck, there's no hope for anything else. No hope whatsoever. And now, this is why we want the co-op to come out here. We've got some weeds. Oh no. Yeah, we, we got the weeds around here. Uh... I think it might be a little bit wet. Uh, I thought that thing could go through almost anything. Oh, uh, man. Gotta walk back and get the tractor, I guess. Dang truck. I thought for sure that thing could get through almost anything. Oh, well. Just need a little yankum rope and it came right out. Ah. Uh, I don't know. We really need to get in them fields, but we are going to just make a sloppy mess. Uh, I am planning on disking right behind, or at least chisel, so I got to see. Um, I got to see if the co-op will even do run today. I, I don't know. I really want to get started disking so I can start planting. It's getting late in the season. Alright, so... Got a few missions, got to talk to the co-op. Whoa, whoa, look at them fatties on that thing. Huh, I'm all over the road right now. I bet that thing could actually, uh, might be able to uh, float in that field. Hmm. Hmm. Well, like we've got a few trucks over here for sale. I wouldn't mind another semi on the farm. I at least need something. This is always my wife's worst nightmare when somebody puts for sale some shiny objects on the side of the road. It looks like we got a Kenworth here, uh, 900. Huh? It's got a small sleeper on the back. Yep, definitely got some miles on it. Whew. Wow, almost one million. Heck of a lot. Not a lot for a semi, though. Ooh, we got a freight shaker. Got the cat. Guess that means it has a cat underneath. Looky here. Clean interior. Hmm. 
you know, we may do some shaking, but uh, I think they get the job done all right. I mean, that thing could be a good option to have. I mean, I love how clean it looks. I've always loved clean appearances. Nice, slick, beautiful. Now, we got, I really want to say it, but I'm not, cab over. I know you guys thought I was going to say suicide cab. That's what I call it, but uh, not many people like that being called that, I guess. Ah, Jane M. Farms, huh? We start our, we'll just have to scrub that out. We'll just put uh, Squad Farms right there. Just cross it out. Kind of like that. That starts up. I might have to think about getting this thing. I always wondered, do these things get the bugs more than uh, other trucks out there? I bet that front of this whole semi here is just a uh, death pit for all the flying bugs, especially at night. Well, the local co-op is maxed out. Where's Jake at when you need him? I did see this sprayer when I came by here. I'm just gonna go ask if that can possibly be uh, used for a demo. I don't have the demo power as Zach does, so uh, maybe cross your fingers. I have no idea why I'm so lucky. I was expecting to pay out the yin yang to rent this uh, sprayer over there. But they kind of gave me a half and half deal. They really wanted Zach to demo the sprayer this spring. But uh, Zach was too busy and uh, Zach doesn't do a lot of the spraying anyways. So I get to use the new sprayer. They got huge LSWs on here. This is the new 4940 John Deere sprayer. We really need a fertilizer spreader. But we're just going to spray it, incorporate it in right away with the disc. I think if it had tracks on, we'd probably be really lucky. But uh, I, I don't think they would even consider us utilizing a tracked sprayer. Man, them tires are huge on this sprayer. I mean, look how small the mud flaps look. You can't does the mud flaps doesn't even cover it. All right, so I got the fertilizer trailer, and we got it full. I know this is not exactly adequate, but it is a good water trailer. It just uh, needs some place to put the chemical on. I'm gonna have to put the chemical in an other trailer, the back of the trailer or something. Tote that along. One thing, I think it looks sweet. Look at that thing. Right on the road. Yeah. Don't want to hit anybody on this with this thing. Be a suicide. I mean, uh, yeah. Pull one right in here. Got a probably. I know. I this is. It's nice to have a gated front end tree. But, oh man, it's kind of hard getting around it all the time, but. What better way to secure from your neighbors than just shut the front gate? Alright, I just had to rub it into uh, Zach's face a little bit. Old, crusty, yeah. We got this new 4940. Big LSW's on there. I thought I was gonna rub it into Zach's face and he kind of made me feel dumb. Oh well. This is too new of equipment for me to sit in. Way too many uh, options. And it certainly smells too nice. We're gonna burn off the weeds here a little bit and then put on some uh, nitrogen for the corn. In an H, yeah, we're gonna get this thing, uh, hopefully, so we could get a good yield. I'm thinking about putting this field in for, I was, until, of course, I have a great big puddle in the center for uh, the state 
you know, competition, high yield dry land corn competition. All right, time to unfold this thing. Man, I am not used to something this big. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold the phone up. About hit the truck there. Uh, my judgment of 120 feet isn't the best. Hold these tires out because we got a big heavy booms out there. Hold that down. Yep, here we go. Spraying. Uh, I guess we probably better get these level. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Yeah, we are off. Man, this thing. Whew. It is definitely bumpy in here, even though we got these floaters on. So here we go. This is some bumpy land. We got a little bit of standing water. Yeah, that is not good to get that chemical in that standing water. Nope. Nope. We might get fined here. Try to stay on the outskirts of this. Spray around this uh, lagoon, the new pond, our new uh, dead land in the middle of our field. Look at all that acres. We just got this sprayer just for this field. Uh, they only want an hour or so of demo on here. All right, gonna get this sprayed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man, oh, 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 I think I'm on bad terms with Midwest Machinery from now on. Wow, did that thing sink quick? Oh, it started uh, going down and, uh, man, I just kept on trying to uh, turn it away from the water and it kept on going towards the water. Uh, I'm gonna have to... I'm going to have to Snapchat this. Farm Problems 2020. Right here it is. Oh, look at that. I got a comment. Millennial Farmer. Oh, yep. I guess I do. Yeah. As much crap as I give Jim, I guess uh, Millennial Farmer thinks it's going to be funny. If Jim has to come pull me out. Yep. Here he comes to rub it in. I deserve it. Oh, okay, Jim. Alright. Anywhere you want to stop at. Yes, you're kind of rubbing it in. Don't turn too much. It gets stuck when you turn there, Jim. All right, Jim. Well, this is 2020 for you. When it can go wrong, it goes wrong. Ugh. Man. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to get it out somehow. Maybe uh, do a convoy? It's a convoy with the versatile. And we might be able to get this bugger out. Man, not even Jim could pull us out. I figured he had a lot of practice doing this. But thank you all for watching. I will see you next time over here in Minnesota. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. We sure act and look like millennials, don't you think so? Yep. Yep. Rookie farming here.